I kind of want to be remembered the way I remember my first grade teacher, someone who loved to learn, someone who made learning fun, and um, someone who like inspires, she inspired me to want to learn more, and that's what I want my kids to walk away with. My name is Ella Farinas. I teach kindergarten and first grade at Cleveland Elementary. I've been teaching for seven years now. I became a teacher, well, I consider myself a lifelong learner, and I love working with kids. And I actually didn't really know what I wanted to be at first. I had like all these different interests, and I just, I didn't know what to do with myself. But uh, I had some really great teachers, like throughout my days in school, and these teachers were really invested in me, and I just kind of wanted to like pay that forward. The thing I like most about teaching is seeing the kids get excited over, over something, whether it's, um, whether it's making maps or whether it's observing plants for science or even just um, you know, reciting math facts, they just get really excited. And when I see them light up, it makes my job you know, very satisfying. So the greatest challenge has been um, teaching both kindergarten and first grade because of the varying abilities, um, even within the grade level spans. And then the pacing and curriculum are very different. They're day and night. So I've had to hone in on the strengths of all my students and use those strengths to scaffold the kids who need extra help. For example, I have the kids think pair share a lot. I have kids who love to talk and I have kids who are just scared to talk. So I, I use that to their advantage. I let the talkers talk, I let the listeners listen, but then they all have a chance to rehearse what they have to say, what they want to say in class. And I think it's paying off because the kids are helping each other to learn and they're all really supportive of each other. And I think that's one thing I really enjoy is watching them just cheer each other on to, to do their best. My favorite thing is from Ms. Farinas is she's the best teacher and she teaches a lot. I like Ms. Farinas because she's nice. I like Ms. Farinas because she's a good teacher. My favorite thing about Ms. Farinas is, is that she's smart. So turtles, they live on land, they live on water. A tortoise is a different kind of a, it's a kind of a turtle and it lives on land and I'm showing you these pictures. Whoa. I know. And I use equity sticks. Um, they're these sticks with, with numbers. All my kids have a number assigned to them at the beginning of the year. And I'll just pick a stick and read the number. And we're also practicing place value. So instead of saying 23, I'll say two tens and three ones. And the really cool thing about that is my kindergarten students know their place value. And that's probably the hardest concept to, to, to master in first grade. And so my kinders know it too. So that's pretty cool. Those numbers mean that when she picks your number, she, uh, she, 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 she says two digits, two tens, and two ones. And, and, and then she says a different number. Ooh, someone punctuate my sentence, please. Let's see. Two digits. Yes. Two tens. No. Two ones. No. Twenty one. Two tens. Two ones. Twenty two. What number is that? Twenty two. Which number is twenty two? Come on down. Two tens, two ones, and the number's twenty. And this number's twenty two, and it's me. It's not optimal to have kinder and first together, but I think I'm making it work. I, I was definitely up for the challenge, and I think I have people who believe in me, so. Ms. Marinen teaches, teaches me about reading, writing, and being respectful. She teaches how to do minus and plus and um, spelling. She teaches about some something that's healthy and not healthy. Her favorite color is red and black. And go! The one that word goes round and round. Pass it quickly without a sound. If you're the one who has it left, then you must be it rather fast. What? She's trying to get rid of it. Talk. Good job, set it down. What's the word, everyone? Talk! Talk. I, I just feel really passionate about what I do, and I just, 
I feel like I'm giving to the community. I tap into the community also. Like I'm always calling people at Caltech to come on down and, and talk to my kids. But at the same time, I feel like I'm giving back because a lot of the kids, especially in this neighborhood, they're not exposed to these things. They, they're not exposed to, they don't meet astronomers on a regular basis. And here we have all these great resources in Pasadena. I'm tapping into that and I'm bringing them here because these kids don't always have a chance to go out there and do it themselves. Their families are too busy. You know, I get it, times are tough, and these kids, these families, they want to do more for their kids, and they're not always able to. And then when that happens, it becomes my job. And so I just go out there and pull all the resources I can and try to make learning just the adventure that it's supposed to be.